let's talk about solving these linear equations. And sometimes students have trouble knowing which of the numbers to subtract or add to one side or the other. So let's talk about that. Okay, if the x is on the left side of the equal sign, this is considered a left side problem. Therefore, the numbers on the left side will be removed. We'll be removing the 1 and the 5 so that we get the x by itself and it'll equal the answer. Okay, um, let's say the x is on the right side of the equation. This is a right side, in, a right side of the equal sign. So this is a right side equation, so we'll be working on removing the negative 7 and the 4 so that we'll get just x here on the right side and then we'll be equal to the answer on the left. Okay, here the x is on the left side of the equal sign, so this is a left side equation. So we'll be working on solving, on removing the negative 7 and the 9 in order to get the x by itself and it'll be equal to the answer. This over here, the x is on the right side of the equal sign, so all of this is our right side. So this is a right side problem. And we'll be removing the 16 and the 3 in order to get the x by itself. So let's take a look at the process and see what it looks like. Okay, we have a 3x plus 4 equals 19. Okay, first, this is a left side problem. So we'll be removing the 4 and the 3. So let's begin to remove the 4. The 4 is adding, so to remove it, we'll use subtraction. Whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, you also do on the other. So I have a negative 4 on the left. I will put a negative 4 on the right side. This will give me a 3x. This becomes 0. We have an equals here. And the 19 minus 4 gives us 15. Okay, now we want to remove now the 3. That's a multiplying 3. To remove a multiplying 3, we need a dividing 3. And this is how I'll write a dividing 3 as a 1 over 3. So the 3 in the denominator is dividing. Um, what do you do on one side of the equal sign? You also do on the other. So we need another 1 third over here. Again, this 1 third is removed from 3 so we can get an x. That's why we don't use a 1 over 15 because we're not trying to remove a 15. We're trying to remove a 3 from the x. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 1 times 1 is 1, so this becomes a 1x. Here, we can use the denominator first, so 15 divided by 3 will be 5, and then times 1, 5 times 1 is 5. So we have here that x is 5. Okay, next, we have 39 equals a 9x plus 3. Now, this is a right side problem, so we'll be removing the 3 and the 9 in order to get the x by itself. So the 3 is adding, so you use a subtracting 3 to remove it. Whatever I do on the right side, I'll also do on the left side to balance it. So we have 39, take away 3, that's going to be 36 equals the 9x comes down, and this becomes 0. Now I need to remove the 9. That's a multiplying 9, so we're going to use a dividing 9 to get rid of it. There's a dividing 9, and I'll put a 1 on top for the fraction. And then whatever I do on the right side, I'll also do on the left side. So put a 1 and a dividing 9. So 36 times 1 is 36, and 36 divided by 9 ends up being 4. equals. Okay, 9 divided by 9 is 1 times the numerator, 1 times 1 is 1. So that's 1x. So we have x equaling 4. Okay, next, number 9. Okay, we have 3x minus 4 equals 11. Okay, so this is a left side problem. So we'll be removing numbers on the left side, the negative 4 and the 3. 
So the, the negative 4 is a subtracting 4, so we're going to get rid of it by putting an adding 4 here. And what we do on the left side, we'll also do on the right side. So I'll put an adding 4 there. So the 3x comes down. This becomes 0 equals. And same sign as add, so we'll get 15. Next, we want to remove the 3 so we can get an x. So this is a multiplying 3, so I'm going to use a dividing 3. Just a 1 over 3, and then a dividing 3 over here. And so what we'll get is a 3 times 1 is 3, and then divided by 3 is 1. So that's going to be a 1x. Here we have 15 divided by 3, which is 5, and then 5 times 1 is 5. So we have x equals 5. Next, number 10. Number 10, we have a 28 equals 9x minus 8. This is a right side problem. So we'll be removing the negative 8 and the multiplying 9. So first, to start by removing the, the negative 8 or the subtracting 8 with the adding 8. And when we do the one side, the right side, we'll do the left side. Okay. Now we have 28 plus 8, this is going to be 36 equals 9x, this becomes 0. Now, to remove the 9 from the x, we need to divide by 9. So we need a 1 9. And what we do on the right side, we'll also do on the left side. So we have a 1 9 there. Okay, so 36 divided by 9 is 4. 4 times 1 is and 9 divided by 9 is 1 times 1 is 1 so we get 1x which means that x is 4 